Hello and welcome, Paladins fans, to the OB50 patch preview. My name is Pretty Hair. I'm joined by our lovely lead designer, Garrett Martini. How's it going, guys? As well as Mr. High Res T. Holt down on the end. Welcome. Wow. 50, guys. We made it. 50 patches. Yep. That's a good number. Did we, re yes. did we reset to one after once we went OB, or did we just switch from CB like 30 something to OB 30 something? We rolled okay. it. Yeah. So yeah. we have made it uh, this far, guys. It's been exciting. I hope you guys have been enjoying Willow this time around. Uh, we got some new sprays up for you. New fresh batch of sprays coming into the realm this time. You can roll these through the Radiant Chest. You can see them all on screen there. All right, guys, time to pick a favorite. My favorites are always how you get to kind of see the ones that kind of look like the champions they're associated with, but at the same time, not like the mini Bomb King is one of my absolute favorite ones. I just like dragons, so I'm all about the dragon any of the one. ones with dragons. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with the uh, fourth from the left on the bottom row, and mostly because it looks like our oh, 2D art Nick. lead, yeah, which yeah, is that's... Nick, who is actually responsible with his team for all this beautiful oh, art. Oh, the last fan so, one, yeah. the guy with the shield? Yeah, kind of arrows, yeah. yeah. yeah he's taking some arrows, but he's delivering those sprays, so <laughs> I, I've got to go with that as my vote. I definitely like the stomping ground one, just the big the big boot crushing uh, crushing enemy. That's a good spray one right there. Awesome, guys. So the next thing up... <laughs> Uh, it's actually a very exciting new feature that is coming into the game in this pack, and that is custom announcer packs. Yep. That's true. That's yes. true. And so the first uh, <laughs> kind of couple we'll have in here, we've got some favorite champions, Eevee. We've got a Bomb King, yes. and then we've got a very special one uh, on the end that we're going to save yep. for last. Yep. But let's yep. go ahead and take a little bit of a listen to, uh, I guess, Eevee will be up first, or Bomb King? Bomb King is going to be up first, guys. Let's go ahead and have a listen. Welcome to Paladins. Welcome to Paladins. Oh. Wow. You have died a oh, dishonorable wow. death. <laughs> you have failed your king. You fought well, peasant. Oh, that's Boom! A good one. Yeah. Shut down! Your reign has come to an end. But and so it begins. Oh, and the, Let so it the begins. battle yep. begin! <laughs> that's five in a row. Unstoppable! Annihilation! Oh god. Wow. That, that one's my favorite. Yeah. So that, that, I'm going to be using that one. Oh my so, god. Annihilation! <laughs> wow, he left it all on the line yes, with that one. No, of all of our characters, um, I was definitely super excited to hear <laughs> the Bomb King announcer pack just because, I mean, his personality, wow. his like, his uniqueness is so so out there yep. and strong. He's okay. such a good, good composed. It is, yeah. Like, and He's the very fact unique. that now he can narrate everything I do in game is just like God oh, dang, so gonna be better. really uh, yeah. really try hard for that 15 streak yes, now. Get that annihilation. Jeez. Are you saying right. we weren't already though? It's not as hard as it once was. Yeah, it's not yeah, as easy as it once was to get that 15 I streak see, with see. the Bomb King. So the next one we have up for you guys is Eevee. Let's go ahead and take a listen. Welcome to Paladins. You actually won. Wow. <laughs> Your teammates are feeding! Damn, oh, what? Yeah. Your She's teammates are blast. feeding! <laughs> <She is. laughs> Enemy slew! Slain? Slayed? Killed! You gotta kill! Do it again! I've been waiting for so long! I wouldn't have lost that round! Le Duble! It's a Tripski! That's it's a Tripski! Oh my goodness! You went okay. and killed all of them! Is that six? I lost count! Ooh, <laughs> spooky fog. I mean, this, this is so cool. This just gives us a way to, like, flesh out these characters even more, add yeah. more personality yep. to them, like, build yeah. it up. It's, it's great. Yeah, and this is a new feature, guys. This is not something associated with uh, your voice pack in game or your VGS commands. These are the things that are going to be playing over the top of your gameplay when yep. you get double kills, kill streaks, shutdowns, all that sort of yep. stuff. These are what those are associated with, and we do have... Uh, that one more. It's just kind of a little gift from us to you guys for yeah. actually hitting the yeah, one yeah. million subscriber yep. mark on our Paladins Game YouTube channel. We have a, uh, a farewell announcer pack done by our very own Dry Bear. So let's go ahead and take a listen to his voice pack. Paladins, yo! Oh, it's man. Paladins, yo! It's immortal. Okay, this thing here, it's called Paladins. You're going to play it. It's going to be fun. Ancient! Oh, oh, yeah, put the hat on. Put the hat on. It's great. I like that hat. Pick the OP oh one. My goodness. Oh, come on! Another win. I'm not surprised. Overtime, hurry your butt up! Don't let them move that payload. I'm watching you. You made them that, dead. That sounds like no. the driver we know and love. Well, love I was beginning <laughs> in... Yeah, uh, right about now. 
When you respawn, do me a favor. Do all that stuff you just did except for the last part where you died. Damn. And here the story begins as the prime blood has been spilled. <laughs> Two kills at the same time. We like That's to have a Kudapa here. Wobble there's Pill. No, yeah. There's no doubt about that. But dangle kill. The thing that comes before six. What is that? That's the kill you got. You got six kills? Now you're just showing off. So if you'd like to have our am amazing uh, formerly designer narrate kind of your, your your playthrough, I would definitely suggest picking that up. It is at a severely discounted rate uh, for you As guys. As all to, of Rory's yeah. changes in the realm have always been very polarized, double it, cut it in half. You know, it's always at sure. one end of the extreme. Yeah. Right. In honor yes. of the one million subscribers on the YouTube channel, we are selling this for, for one million a whopping gold. one million, right? Roy's taken his his cleaver to the numbers one last time. Cut off the six zeros. One gold. Oh. Yep. If you can spare, but one gold doubloon in the realm. This voice pack, this announcer pack, will be yours to own. Yep. That's really exciting stuff, guys. And the rest of those can be just purchased through the in-game store, correct? Yeah, same place. Yep. 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 Same place. But Roy's it's at that discount, that extreme discount. Guys, it's time for the first skin of the OB50 patch. It Ooh. is the Shaolin yes. Vigilante. Oh, do we have a... Let's go awesome. ahead and pop that up. The Shaolin Vigilante and Guardian. You saw it tweezed on Twitter. There it is, looking so heroic in the realm. Look at the mask, too. Yeah, he's a badass. Yeah, this is one's nice. Uh, All so the Shaolin obviously that. gets a lot of play. He's got a lot of fans out there. Um, and, and so we wanted to make sure we got him a good skin. Uh, the superhero vibe just fits him, you know, and you've got that bow and everything. So uh, with this one, we have actually two different packages. Um, yes. And so uh, with the Vigilante, uh, you know, you've got the head and the body. You've got that skin set together. Yeah. Uh, you got that sweet bow that goes with it, uh, along with a voice pack, uh, all available together for direct buy as a bundle. And uh, you can see it there. So... Wow, so there he is, guys. Shaolin Vigilante. The bow is the big one. Yeah, I really me. dig the, the compound, the this modern is, compound version of the, yeah. the Shaolin one. As opposed to his longbow that he normally rocks. There's Shaolin sporting the new digs, the new tights. Looking real good. It's, it's, it's the complete 180 from Shaolin's normal personality. The longbow and the baggy pants. Now he's all in the carbon fiber Ooh, tights yeah. and the yeah, compound be, bow. Can't be having anything catch while he's running through the streets. Yeah. He's Fighting even got, crime. that's even like, it's even like the, uh, the, uh, practical cape right not the big flowy billowy one that's gonna right. get stuck on everything yes he's just got the practical stripe cape there look at the color variations as well and as thomas mentioned these are available in the um just kind of as a bundle collection in the store purchase but there will uh, be well the second skin the the guardian yeah. one which he just switched to is one of the things you can see is is the head attachment pieces along with the so bodies the they mix match the okay. colors all match but we wanted to basically you know like i said we, we were excited about this one especially for superheroes so we ended up making a second skin and so that one we're actually going to make available in the colossal chest so uh, you have the bundle of uh, all of them together with the vigilante set um, and you can buy that direct you can you know be your superhero uh, and then uh, with the colossal you can get that second set and they do mix and match you can kind of create your own hero with shawlin there you go guys so the uh, mask and that special body will be in the colossal chest and just as a side note uh, this will be the final patch uh, with the Colossal Chest in it. We are going That's to be right. retiring the Colossal Chest as a whole in the next patch. But this skin does also come with a voice pack. So you could probably take a listen to a couple of those little lines there. My name is Sha Lin, and I am the Desert Wind. <laughs> I guess you weren't ready. It's over, villain. Is that the arrow signal? The arrow is stronger than the sword or gun. Or snake. Is my wit too sharp for you? Is my wit too sharp for you? I am justice. I am the wind. I am the desert shadow. Holy bullseye champions. <laughs> Holy yep. yep. Freedom, justice, and the way of the realm. Great Scott. I actually have a tattoo that says freedom, justice, the way of the world, right yeah. down my back. No, just keep tramps tan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's not going to be it for the skins this patch. We do have a very exciting one. <laughs> I am uh, ready to show you guys. It is the Buck Wild skin coming into the realm. There he is. There's Macho so much man. personality in this skin. So much man oh. on screen right now. Yeah. The chest hair, the mustache, the bulge, and the, the belt. belt. The belt. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> It's just the tuft of chest hair. Yeah, and, and also to clarify, this is booty uh, wild. Yeah, buck wild got wild right on the 
the rear. Um, but there's no weapon as, as part of this set. This set is only the head, the body, and the voice pack. Um, Ooh, and that pose. Yep. Yeah. And it's got an MVP pose, which you just saw, and then probably one of my favorite emotes in the entire <laughs> game right now. So... <laughs> There it is. Yeah, it's so Honestly, good. The, the the Trigger Man shotgun would go so good with this set. So going to be there. That emote is superb right there. And this one, uh, this does come with a very, very good voice pack. I'm really excited uh, to show you this one. This is going to be the Buck Wild voice pack, guys. Go ahead and take a listen. Introducing the heavyweight champion of the realm. Off the top ropes. <laughs> you make the champ laugh. I'll start the match with a big play, then tag you in, brother. Are you ready? <laughs> Buck Wild is ready. <laughs> when I step into the realm, things get wild. Buck Wild. Boom, chicka chicka. This ring belongs to the champ. Tag me in. Tag me in. What you get when you suplex a rat? Oh no. Pip squeaks. Pip squeaks. That was puns, dude. <laughs> I'm going to pump you up. Ooh. There oh, it is. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> Be careful, middle flank. Oh yeah, brother. Woo! Oh, that woo. Yeah. It was one of our best VEWs ever. Yeah, those are some so... career level puns for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And my, and my favorite part is like the first thing you heard in there, the whole announcer intro yeah. is what plays when he enters into the match. And Absolutely. So it's, oh, so good. He gets his ringside uh, set up. Yep. Wow. So that's already been two great, you know, epic level skins coming in this patch. We're normally lucky to get one, but we're not even done yet, oh, guys. Done. We have a third one coming up for you. It is Eevee, Star Glam Eevee right there. Look at so We got the retro theme going right now. We're throwing it back. She's kicking it old school. Kicking it old school, guys. So this is going to be another epic level skin. There. Look at all the colors coming in. I'm, I just kind of, I immediately start thinking of what customizations I want. Because I like to, you know, I buy the whole set, but I like to break the mold a little bit. Try and get a little mix and match in there. And this is actually a rare level skin. So talk a little bit about just kind of the theme of this skin, Thomas. Yeah, so this one we have like the full set. So you get the, the ACC, the headpiece, you know, um, with those those shades. And uh, and then the full body for the skin. Uh, and then we do have a weapon for this one as well. So, um, and you can see beautifully done. Character team did a great amazing job. Uh, great work with the weapons team, getting the colors, getting the look. Uh, really kind of nailed that theme that we were going for with her. The shades awesome. are legendary. So are these so going to be available in a chest or are these just direct purchase collections? It's a la carte. Pick it yep. up. A la you like carte. It. You want it, buy it. Yep. Exactly what we want there, guys. So that's going to do it for uh, all the skid lineups today in terms of the champions. But we do have a lot, a little something, something <laughs> yes. coming for each uh, nine, actually, champions coming through here. And the newest chest to enter the realm, it is the wrecked chest. Yes, get wrecked. Absolutely, get wrecked. It's the theme, you know, strong throughout. And there they are, the brightly colored themed dart guns <laughs> into the realm there. And what well, looks like to be a spray as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. This is pretty amazing. So we, we, we took a theme that was pretty strong, uh, you know, concept team, weapon team, you know, really, really excited about it. And uh, we picked nine champions. So you see four of the weapons on there. Uh, we'll show a few more uh, live in stream and then kind of tell you who the rest of the champions are for. And kind of took that whole, you know, toy gun firing projectile yeah. uh, kind of theme to it uh, with our own branding. So we have that wrecked weapons uh, for the branding. And uh, so you can see here, you know, um, I don't know if you want to run through each of them or... The yeah, wrecked weapon yeah chest. so we can definitely do that. So this is in the, the collections yep. tab. Yep. So you can see, you know, Barrick has those big Nerf balls. You know, you got your assault rifle with Tyra. You know, uh, Shaolin has like this oh, foam yeah. bow wow, that he fires. Wow, those are two really good bows in this patch, man. Yeah, and then... He's um, getting hooked up. Yeah, Grover has this foam. It's awesome. <laughs> Just wait till you hear it. So yeah, the, the sound effects, by the oh, way... Oh, they all the, come with sound effects, too. They all too. come with sound Dude, effects, yeah. The, the VFX team and They're the killing. audio team absolutely killed it. Like, wow. I realized... I spent about an hour doing a 10 minute <laughs> task of review the other day where I just couldn't stop shooting the wall and having those like little darts just sticking to the wall and hearing bloop, 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 wow bloop, 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 so these bloop. are epic level skins for your weapons guys these have comes with the sounds they come with the change to the VFX they got the darts sticking to the walls so all good things here 
uh, coming into the realm. You see, wow, there's nine of these plus a spray, so ten items total in this. Yeah, and that and that spray is awesome. It's a it's the first time we've kind of done a, a real text based spray. Obviously, with the whole get wrecked kind of theme, uh, we <laughs> thought that that may be a message that our players want to share with other players. So uh, uh, it's an exclusive, you know, kind of spray with that. Thing. Um, it's also it is a pretty rare drop. So you are a lucky lucky individual if you get that that sucker. Yeah, and this is Victor there on screen. Looks like he's having a blast with his new toy gun. We've got to play safe yeah, in the room. It's looking like yeah, a '90s you, little you, advertisement, like you, you know, you browse you, in the halls at Toys R Us and you yeah. pick this one up. You've you got to read the caution. It's so good. Like when you get time later, it's it's small text, but it's so it good. It is. So. <laughs> I cannot read that from here. <laughs> for best results, aim for head and eyes. Do not avoid injury. Barrage incoming. Get wrecked. That's there. It is very Paladin's appropriate. Shots fired there. So the, the theme here is very cool. Where do, where does the idea for something like this start? Is somebody just kind of just playing with their their kids at home with all the toy guns one day and just say, you know, what? we could do this. We actually have a bunch of these in the office. Um, I'm kind of surprised you haven't gotten shot yet. Um, but, uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is this is one that we. Uh, there's a few. Some people have them at their desk, and and there's a few in the play test area and stuff. So uh, they're just oh, fun man. to play with in real life. And and we just it was one of the things that kind of early on when we started talking about weapon themes that that we thought would be fun to bring to the realm. So Absolutely. you can see there's a little dark <laughs> stick to the wall. They stick. So. Do they stick to your enemies, though, is the yeah. question. I was about to say, can you hear it? Because the sound is the so sound good. Is the, yeah. yeah, we'll turn it up and let y'all listen to these weapons a little bit. <laughs> Nothing is more talking than killing someone with that sound. <laughs> oh, not Pip's family. That's doing the Volpines dirty like that. So that's very cute, very fun sound effects here. It's very, it's Bright Marsh-esque, right? You know, Willow's got a lot of fun, cute sound effects, and now every champion can kind of partake in that. It's very, very realm, you know, very lighthearted, fun stuff. There's a switch up to the tire. We'll let y'all listen to some of these darts. Oh my god, the rapid fire of the little pop. Oh, it's so good. All right. And like, also all the, the reloads. Yeah, yeah, all, very the, plastic. all the weapon fully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turbo pop. The team did a uh, full rework of all of the the foley or like the little kind of like situational sound scrapes or sure. clicks or clacks um, to, to to really sell that that plasticky yeah. vibe. This is one of my favorites. So wow, that's yeah, you get so that full good. Spread. The best part. I don't know what's so satisfying. It's so satisfying that sound. I don't Look know. Look at it all is. the darts there in the shotgun. Wow. It's a lot easier to yeah. keep track of the damage now. Barrick yeah. with the and Barrick's a little design. special. He's got the little nerf balls, so it's kind of cool. Oh, you see them hit and kind of bounce off, you know, before they fade away. The, uh -huh. the buckshot, the yeah. wrecked buckshot. Yeah, if you ever had like a, a wrecked weapon war as a kid, it's like everyone shows up with the darts, but there's always that one guy who comes out because his parents got him. He's like, got the ball got variant. The, balls one. the you're slugs. Like, you can't, you can't. Yeah. He's over here pumping <laughs> slugs in everyone's yeah, eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> wow, there it is. There it is. Those are the most fun. Those are our personal favorite ones that we want to show you guys uh, in game for that. Guys, yep. that is the wrecked weapons chest coming into the realm uh, in OB50. It's going to be a lot yep. of fun. Uh, like we said, nine weapons in total as well as a spray yep. in that one. So full rework the sound. Guys, it's time. Uh, normally, I would be a big part of this today, but balance and bug fixes... <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, to drive this one. You're gonna have to come up with all the witty answers this so time around. So I get to be the dark, you get evil, to be sinister pretty caricature. Fair. We'll have to see if these balance changes are pretty fair. Um, would you like to all start right, with the bug fixes or with the balance changes? Actually, I wanna, no. I want to start with the bug fixes because I want to save the bug. You want to save them? There are some big, big stuff okay. coming in these bugs. I would it. actually love to save these because I'm really excited about a lot of these bug fixes, guys. Yep. All right, Mr. A. Wait, that is a that is a bug fix. Oh yeah, they're not sorted like that. Oh, they're not sheets. sorted like that. All nope. right, guys, this is actually we can we can go ahead and start yep. with this one. Androxis, guys, big bug fix uh, coming through, or should I say, not coming not through, coming through. See this what time you did around. There. So See what he did there. Yep. Shots will no longer pass through. Uh, reversal while walking backwards. Yep, it's a it's a very complex issue to solve. Uh, we did it. Uh, we apologize uh, to everyone who's died through a reversal <laughs> previously. Swiss cheese reversal. Um, however, it took a pretty, pretty 
kind of genius fix workaround to do, but the, the core issue is around you have multiple people firing in this crazy dynamic fight space all on varying latencies and pings, and one of them is trying to protect himself with this collision that is spawned, and it's all the other people's clients knowing or not knowing when those things or where those things are. Sure. Um, lag compensating that is a huge task. Yeah. Uh, but we're happy to be able to do it too. <laughs> we got it, guys. We locked it down. Next up on the list there is Bomb King, legendary card. Demolition. Fixed a bug where sometimes shields would not fully be destroyed. Yeah. Um, I mean, arguably, this is kind of a balance thing too, just sure. because of the way it impacts. But Bomb King, that legendary specifically, yeah. right, is designed to just make him a, a, a big shield old killer. counter shield, shield killer. And it, if it doesn't work, then the, the, the card doesn't work, right? There so it is, guys. Um, go in, test it out. Let us know if Bomb King is your answer now to uh, those to shield shields. Yep. The dream is uh, actually destroying a dome shield, which I think I think Ev, I saw Evan run this one time, and he did destroy a dome shield. And I was just like, when we back when we had the discussion around all the legendaries, I was like, there's no way that's ever going to line up and happen. And then every scenario that you know Dry Bear was saying was going to yeah, happen, they funny do. How that always happens. They do happen. They do yeah. come to fruition there. So the next up on the list is actually Buck. Uh, going to see a reduction in maximum health from 3,000 to 2,800. That's correct. Uh, so, last patch, we bumped yeah. up his damage, which uh, we saw feel good. People people enjoyed it. Um, but now we're moving him yeah, back down a little bit in regards to his level of tankiness. Because yeah. I think with a shotgun, that kind of implies a certain level of offensive efficacy. Like, sure. You want to be able to Should like hurt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, you saw um, all those nerf darts. The, the 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 counter to that is that when you do have almost tank level HP, with mobility, a heal option, and now increased damage, something usually has to give. Uh, well, if you're the the world heavyweight champion of the realm, if you're the I mean, heavyweight champion, maybe there of the is realm, no gift. Yeah, there there really isn't. Like you have the belt. He's got it all, <laughs> brother. He's yep. the cream of the crop. Cream of the crop. So a little bit of a bump down there for Buck. So make sure you get in there, try him out. And another big one coming through here uh, for our man Bitey. He's going to love this one. Drogos, rocket launcher. This weapon and its projectiles are now lag compensated. Salvo, this ability and its projectiles are now lag compensated. Fire spit, this ability is now lag compensated. Right. This is a huge change. We saw immense, immense stuff come from the change uh, to Bomb King. And talk a little bit about... You know, kind of the challenges and just what this helps bring to the character not yeah. being lag comped. Sheer usability, really. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a, it's it's a shame that uh, some people aren't fortunate enough to play on some of the connections that ourselves or other people are able to play on. So making sure that your game and your characters are doing their best to be as fun for all of your audience yeah. um, is always our goal here. Like. We know you may not be able to afford the best computer. We know your connection or your ISP may just suck in whatever region you're in. So these little things that we can do on our side to land compensate these weapons or these abilities really can go a long way. Um, so definitely get in there. Try them out now. Should feel better on any amounts of, of ping. Uh, and we'll be watching them closely in regards to what does this change for him sure. uh, overall as a character. Absolutely, and a couple of bug fixes that do come alongside yes, this. So, some of my, yeah. uh, Salvo, some big ones here. Will no longer fail to fire the full amount of loaded rockets. Yep, we'll super hard one. to track down and pinpoint to, to actually repro what was the thing that was breaking all of the other things. But we've done a pretty pretty good pass on fixing all the little granular pieces that could potentially lead to you either firing a salvo and only one rocket coming out. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm trying to make sure in my head. So that's when you load it up and you fire, but only one well, comes fixed, out, and then it goes fixed on cooldown. a lot of, So there was many, many bugs with Salvo. Sure. Just the original ability was something entirely different than what its implementation was now, right. uh, which kind of led to some of those bugs. Uh, but the bugs where you would fire it and it wouldn't be any Salvo and it would still go on cooldown, the bugs where you would fire it and it would just be one Salvo rocket still go on cooldown, or the, also the bugs where you would activate it um, but then you actually hadn't activated it at all. Just 
there's there's lots of them. And also, yeah. it was like canceled by dismounting or, or stuff like that. Yeah, so um, yeah, another one there. Yeah. Uh, Salvo no longer gets interrupted uh, while mounting a Salvo animation bugs fixed. Sometimes not playing the last shot animation, sometimes not playing other animations from the subsequent shots is the fine print there uh, on these challenge or on these changes. And a couple of uh, fixes to some cards here. Spitfire fixed the Spitfire to stack if hitting multiple players uh, with the same rocket. Yep, just a nice little card cleanup. And as well as fixed Drogos booster, refilling twice as much booster fuel uh, as intended through cards, whether that be through illumination, you know, all that sort of stuff. And another big one, similar along the same vein uh, as the Androxus reversal bug fix, is Fernando, his shield. Our boy. Shots will no longer pass through Fernando's shield while backpedaling. So no more Swiss cheese shield yep. for the self appointed knight. His and it's kind of, is it yeah. kind of the same thing? Kind of, yeah, they, they, they essentially the abilities are structured very similarly. Um, they function almost yeah. identically. So the problem on one being fixed has, has helped solve the other. Um, but by no means, what is it? Was it an easy task? Um, and uh, it will, it's, I mean, it's just so much better now that that's not a thing. Cause like as a tank, right? You're on the front line, you're doing your feels job, bad. you're protecting. It feels bad, man. <laughs> you know it feels bad. Um, happy to be able to put those, put those intelligent people on uh, fixing it for you guys. So, all right. So the, uh, Next balance change up is going to be Inara. Couple of good things coming her way to maybe harden her up, bring her into oh, the meta a little bit more. Impass. <laughs> Increased deploy range from 60 to 80 and now knocks up enemies slightly when deployed, deployed underneath them. Yep. So kind of that's not the biggest swing in terms of balancing changes we're making to her this patch as we'll get to, but that's definitely a quality of life thing. Mm. Um, just the nature of the wall and deploying it in such a like discreet, quick moment and have it actually be effective yeah. is a very difficult thing to do. So the fact that we had rules like, oh, it could only have been done in this range or mm. um, there was it wasn't necessary really. And yeah. then also putting a knock up on it now allows you to, if you are intelligent with it potentially, kick someone into a hazard or knock someone towards your team. Just slight amounts of utility. Yeah. Um, but doing a doing a wall in a shooter is a very difficult task. So. <laughs> I imagine so. Yeah. And you know, having no mobility, being able to deploy at a greater range will require to let you put yourself out. You know, be safer, be yes. with your team a little bit closer, and being able to deploy that wall where you really are hoping to get it to go. Uh, but that's not it. Like we mentioned, so stone spear. That is just her left click, her basic attacks. Oh, yes. Will now yeah. have gradual damage fall off. And tell us a little bit about exactly what gradual damage fall off is. So. The easy way to describe it is just before there was a threshold at a distance. So like we'll say okay. for the sake of this, it'll say at 100 feet, the damage of that projectile, if you hit someone after that, was reduced by half sure. or something. It's probably not the exact numbers, but exactly. that's the way it was functioning before. Now what's happening is it operates on a curve, mm. um, meaning that, okay, at 10% of the, d the duration of the projectile, it's, uh, it'll deal 100% and then it'll slowly fade off. So at 80 feet, maybe it'll do 80% damage. 90 feet, it'll be like 60% damage. Sure. Like so just a gradual downgrade. So it's not a big not just kind a big, of leap. Yeah, Instead exactly. Of, it's a more smoothed off curve. The farther away, the less they're going to take, but less spiky as it were in the previous patches. Yep. Big change to one of the legendary cards here, Mother's Grace. That is your right click, your defensive stance, kind of legendary supplementing that. Now grants debuff immunity. Yes. So this is a huge change. Oof. A very large change. Um, God bless. Yes. So what effectively this means is that while her uh, defensive ability, her RMB is up, yeah. uh, she is immune to cauterize. Ooh. So, granted, taking this legendary and walking Mama. into walking into a a, uh, a combat situation, it won't benefit you that much by yourself. But if you are coordinated enough to be kind of syncing your cooldowns with when your healer is healing you, whether you guys are in a party or Eesh. your healer is yeah, just intelligent right. enough to recognize, then you can really get some beneficial healing off. Um, and this is... This is so cool. This is going to be such a cool change. Go ahead. Yeah, Sorry, I'm, no, getting, just, I'm getting excited. <laughs> it's just addressing the fact that... So at her core level of functionality, Inara is a extremely well-balanced tank in that she can occupy a space for a decent or a much longer amount of time than yeah. any of our other damage characters. Um, we would just, we want to give her more utility or more sticking power in mm. some way. Um, and this one obviously is the latter because now she's going to last much longer than some of our other tanks in regards to this. That's absolutely so, right. This does have some big, beta, uh, big potentially big meta implications. Uh, very curious to see how it plays out. 
but definitely give her give her a chance now guys um go level up your nara and <laughs> maybe become a don't a, be like war doom and lock her in and competitive with a level two mastery <laughs> but the big thing here is you know tanks traditionally in the competitive meta will not be a strong late game because of wrecker and cauterize exactly that but this makes nara just off the bat one of the best late game tanks in Paladins. Once those late game Cauterize threes are online, Wrecker threes are online, she doesn't care about Wrecker, she doesn't have shields, she is just that tank. So it'll be really interesting to see, you know, teams start to try and build late game compositions yes. around Inara because she can now resist the Cauterize, receive all of that healing, and then you got to chew through all that HP again. This is going to be a very, very cool change to this character. Yes. So moving right along to Maeve, Pounce. Fixed a bug where Pounce damage was not correctly being mitigated uh, by Haven. Yep. Simple enough. Just a good little bug fix quality of life stuff neat generally those things are just overlooked all right speaking of tanks makoa the top oh, yes. the king of the food chain for a while and competitive uh at the very least so we're seeing an increase to the cooldown of dredge anchor from nine seconds to 11 seconds so two additional seconds that's correct gonna be slapped to the turtle that anchor's getting heavy he's getting tired of throwing it out he's gonna take him a little bit long he's getting old he is an old very old ancient tortoise and uh, one more change, Ancient Rage. Uh, Makoa will now gain the increased health after 0.3 seconds instead of 0.5 seconds. Yep, so a couple of things here. Uh, hook, <laughs> or Dredge Anchor, yeah. as an ability, is very, very powerful. Sure is. Especially when you hit your higher rungs of skill. Um, interestingly enough, uh, he actually performs far worse than many of our other tanks at the lower levels of play. Sure. Um, it's an interesting uh, kind of perception dynamic in that he is, without a doubt, one of the most consistently early picks, if not first pick, in our competitive scene, solely because of his ability to relocate an enemy player, arguably without much much uh, skill required. It's a sure. large projectile, etc. So it's important that the hook can still be effective. We had lots of options to address this issue. We chose cooldown for a number of reasons. Um, the idea that, yes, we could make the ability weaker, mm -hmm. um, and that might kind of get the results we're looking for. Right. But then overall, making the ability feel weaker versus having it stronger, but just less often, it's this kind of balancing act that we have to do. Um, and I've lent more... It. it it's a powerful ability as any hook in any game ever sure. is. Uh, so I, I want it to be that way. I don't want to reduce its range really by any more uh, or, or make it just exceedingly difficult to hit because it is still a projectile in a fast paced shooter that you need to, to land. Um, uh, so cooldown was the decided on modifier here. Uh, I, I will watch it closely. Um, but, and it is a, it is a buff nerf in the sense that uh, we will be we doing this this hook thing, which is going to ch reduce his offensive viability um, and hopefully open up some other options in the competitive scene. Mm -hmm. uh, and also then tackle some of the quality of life issues that are around some of the more recent ult changes, which were made mostly as just bug fixes, but actually carried over yeah. uh, into the actual gameplay and feels goodness sure. of an ability. So now you will get your health from that ability much quicker as soon as you because it felt weird to activate your ult and it fired and you kind of roll up the animation <laughs> I'll tell you what and then you, then you it, it plays the voice line it starts the animation yes. i had this happen to me three times yes. in a row they're like you challenge me yes. you challenge me you ch and then i'm dead and i'm just like they challenged me they challenged me real good so now you can rely on it and they want as a as a bait as a as a there save we go. My butt tool pop at um, the panic button yep all right so we'll see the buff nerf to the turtle. What happens to him? Saris moving right along to one of the newer supports in the realm. Uh, Restore Soul, which is her right mouse button heal ability. Cooldown has been decreased from five seconds to four seconds. That's correct. Percentage-wise, this is actually a large cooldown. That is. That's 20%. Uh, decrease, yeah. Um, that's the Kronos, too. The, the other... Her comparative healers that she's competing with, a la Meldaba, etc. Yeah. Um, have a drastically lower cooldown and also have um, AoE healing options sure. alongside the fact that they aren't tied, I guess. They're not locked out as they're healing. Um, they're, they're healing recipients where Sarah's is like, I'm healing this person 
for <laughs> two to three seconds yeah. or whatever, um, and then I can't do anything else. Yeah. I'm exposing myself. And her damage. cooldown won't start, right, until, until that heal has completed. Right. Right. And if you're taking Mortal Reach, which increases the duration, at base you're putting this heal on an eight-second cooldown before Correct. you can even start it to think about casting it again. Yes. Um, so to, to take on that, that main healer role, she needs a little help in, in throughput. Uh, so cooldown was what we chose to do. It's instead of increasing the number or... Sure. Because the number is really high already. Yeah. It's just kind yes. of getting that to multiple targets, everybody that needs it on demand, I think that's really yep. going to help her out. Yep. Okay, so that's the increase to her healing. And Convergence, this is a big one. Pull oh, Delay, right. this is her ultimate. So the pull delay, once the projectile lands, has been reduced from 1.5 seconds to 0.5 seconds. Much faster Half now. a second. Much faster. This so. is a big slash. Took the one right off. Yeah, we saw a lot of issues arise around this ability just in the ways it can be countered i think we were a little too um reserved i guess in its implementation it is scary you know yeah it, and it can be a very scary so, ultimate like, potentially the ability to potentially wipe a team um is very strong and should be kind of approached with a a careful manner yeah if you um, think about it right you know you look at dredge anchor makoa hook this is a team-wide hook potentially yes so you have yes. to be careful with this one but the factors that we we did release the character with in regards to it is a projectile, so yep. it's not an instant thing. It is one discrete pull. It's not a field that persists, that sure. pulls in multiple people over a long duration. It can be blocked by shields. There is a warning tell before it fires. Um, and it has a large post-it on it too, which means essentially that I can't do anything for a decent duration after I throw it. Yeah. Um, it needs to land for like almost a full second before I can take separate action. Um, so now immediately for my Sarah's players, um, it'll be much more, you can use it much quicker. You don't right. have to preemptively plan things out or kind of guess like, oh, maybe people will be in zone of this if I do it now. And then, oh, no, turns out Hope that so. they weren't there. And it can be blocked by shields, you know, right. a whole. Still, still counterable. Like that's some of the other options like Maldamba, for instance. Um, right. Uh, the, the Dread Serpent goes through shields, is very f fast firing, doesn't have projectile arc, and can be... Precision uh, detonated. Yeah, precision detonated it throughout its whole duration, and also has similar team wiping potential. Absolutely. Um, it's just, we think this ult could be a little bit stronger for Ceres. Um, very so cool. We've gone with this. Very excited, so still have to kind of time it between shields and place it correctly. If you want it to go off, but it will go off, it will reward you much quicker uh, now that it has been reduced there. So a couple changes to Willow, just small little things here. General, fix the EB icon yep. uh, showing for Willow's title requirement and seedling. Added UI markers to the second wave of seedlings that yes. explode. Yep, just some more feedback around that ability. It's, um, she's in his, she's a, she is a, a very well uh, kind of conceived damage character in the sense that for the most part she is she excels at AoE damage yeah. um, her Q is her bread and butter that's what the strongest part of that character is her in hand respectively to all her our other damage characters isn't that impressive um, she, she loses mathematically a lot of 1v1s just based on in hand uh, DPS and the fact that it's projectile versus instant fire sure so the fact that the Q is the strongest part of our kit is important, um, but we realize that there needs to... It's good to, to see it coming. It, it's good to see <laughs> it coming. We can do a better job of putting more feedback around yeah. it, absolutely, and making sure it's very clear that you should not be standing next to these little seedlings. <laughs> Definitely there. So uh, moving right along to Ying, our final change here, Illusion. The time between Illusion heals has been increased from one second to 1.2 seconds. Yes. So, effectively, this is a throughput reduction. Mm -hmm. um, we so Ying is a very like high output healer. Yeah, uh, like across it's the fire board, and forget, and it can't miss. It, it can't miss the the Ying illusions are doing this automatically, and statistically, she is out healing other all of our other healers by a wide wide margin, without the required um, skill requirements sure. that the other healers have. Um, you can effectively get the same healing by dropping two illusions and then go hide and hiding in a corner. Uh, <laughs> As many Ying players will do. 
Right. So she is very safe play style. She right. dies very few amounts of times. Um, we need to, she needs to be more balanced around the fact that uh, she doesn't have to risk a lot. And yeah. there are, it's not highly skill dependent. Um, granted, when the heals do hit, like we, we could have, we could have reduced the amount they healed, but still kept the duration at which they heal the same. We chose to do the, hit the duration just so when you do heal, it's still a good amount. So like feel, it, you can still feel at 400. It. Yeah, you can still, and it'll save your save you in, in a fight. Um, but now it's just you're going to be a little bit more concerned with getting those illusions uh, kind of in the right place because it's not just an easy win, right. I guess, in terms of, yeah, there's two illusions in the point. My team is safe. Like, I don't have to do anything. Got to think Whereas about it. Whereas Maldamba's over here like, okay, if I time He's out score, here sweating like... A... <laughs> thrusting Drogo's in there. Oh, yeah. Missed. No. Like, yeah. he dies. It's like... <laughs> we need, we need some, some equivalency. Give and take. Yeah. Give and take there. So Dimensional Link, a little bit of a, a description update here. Uh, corrected to no longer state that Dimensional Link uh, will clear debuffs on use. Correct. Yeah. So um, this Did is... Did it used to do that? A long time ago. This a long, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she is not receiving We're a nerf. We're talking CB. Yeah, this is, this is a update to a description in that her Dimensional Link did not remove debuffs currently. Mm. Hasn't in live for potentially over a year ago. Um, it's just this little tidbit of text has persisted in that description. Um, so it's a, it's a bookkeeping error. Sure. Um, we're just trying to clear it up and not confuse people. Cool. So a couple little general high-level bug fixes here. Fix an issue with new players not getting the prop for region selection. We'll just run through these. Fixed a number of language issues with cards, preventing them from being used at certain ranks. Uh, fixed an issue with chat where long text entries do not display. Fixed report system to allow for more than one entry line. Champion AI when using VGS. Uh, now use the correct button callout. Fixed localization languages not showing uh, unlocalized text at key bindings. Projectiles, this is a big one. Projectiles no longer consider shields for remote proximity distance. Uh, an example being Drogo's fire spit yes. exploding on shields from far away. And I don't know if there's a good way I can do this without drawing it. <laughs> Basically, so... Oh, I, uh, yeah. I think I'll try and use hand gestures okay. to, to communicate. All right. Hey, I'm just um, trying to facilitate yeah. here. So... Remote proximity distance essentially is a measurement of the radi. If if you think of all the projectiles as spheres, then the RPD is the radius of that sphere. Sure. Um, increasing the radius will increase the the diameter and the width of, of the said thing. And the way it was behaving before was that if here's the center of the projectile. Wait, where's my camera? Okay, this is the center of the projectile, and then the radius extends out, uh, and then hits the the last, I guess. Um, bit of the circle and it goes around it um, then if anything over here if any of these pieces of the projectile hit a shield volume then the projectile would wink out of existence <laughs> the way and, and it gets weird when you have large projectiles yeah. I mean, fire space a great example where it would seem to disappear when not really even hitting Touching the it, shield yeah. you'd be like so because the, the rpd is bigger than the actual vfx in some cases yeah. yeah 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 so what we've done is that that center that i have now um if the center does not hit the shield, then the projectile will continue ah. um, past the shield. So as long as you are precise uh, with your trajectories, yes. it will just go right yeah. on by that stuff. Very cool change there. Um, another one here, fixed accuracy of projectiles on clients to closer match uh, that on the server. Yep. yep. A little bit of quality of life stuff there. A lot of la lag compensation stuff coming through. We're getting good at this. Yes. Getting very good at this. All right. That's going to do it for balance and bug changes. So the next thing up is we do actually have a little bit of a change up here to the test queue rotation. So Arid V2 uh, is on its way out and Bend is on its way in. That's right. It's uh, that's definitely, it's, it's a good map. It's got this awesome... Oh, do you see it here? Yeah, so that is the, the Bend, hence the name. Oh, nice. I love this map. Yep, this is a good one. So we play test these all the time, guys. That's why I, I love playing these when they come out. Bend, very, very cool one there. You can't really see it, uh, but you can kind of see the right? capture point You're there. Yeah, 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 yeah. The capture point there on the left kind of glowing through that little door. You can actually see there's a very cool uh, little area. It's a very big, wide courtyard, but it has a lot of different little things to hide behind. It almost feels like a, a rock field um, out there. But yeah, it's it is, like a rock course. garden. It's a rock garden for sure. sure. 
Sure. And then it just, just cubes for the time being. I can't wait to see, you know, when and if this map gets themed. It'll be very cool. I love the test maps personally, you guys. You guys should too go in there, definitely play these when they come out. We change them out pretty much every patch cycle. Uh, so you get on PTS, get them, play these on live, give your feedback. There's a feedback survey at the end of every match that you do uh, end up playing there on the test maps. Very cool stuff. Excited for that one. And we've come once again uh, to the community question section of the patch notes. Once again. We are joined, none other than Thomas Holt back. Oh, oh no. <laughs> no longer Thomas. Down there on the end. Look at that. Oh, Miss Alyssa, yes. she's back. I'm Welcome back. back. Thank you. <laughs> Spent some time in Mexico, to, so shout out to our LATAM community. Hey. Um, but I'm glad to be back, and I've got some great community questions today. Beautiful. So let's do it to it. Let's jump right into it. Let's get, get the first question up there. Miss Alyssa, what have you got for us? All right. So the first question is, do you have any plans to rework some legendaries? Wait, who asked it? We gotta give oh, them their shout man. outs. Oh man, okay. Androgom27. Androgom27. That's cool I always name. struggle with that. <laughs> so, do we have any plans to rework some legendaries? Absolutely. Um, if you've been a Paladins user for any amount of time, you know our level of kind of changing things, design iteration, uh, is, is pretty consistent throughout the life cycle of our game. Right. Um, and we do realize there are some current legendaries that aren't the the strongest options compared to some of the other ones for those characters um and we can absolutely do a better job of making sure that there's more equivalent value um in your three options uh specifically i don't have any specific like exact ones for you uh here but yes it's on our radar and i think holistically i'd like to do it all or relatively all in one go so sure. like if we were to release a patch that addressed like okay now we've just reintroduced all this this new kind of iteration and functionality on the legendaries. Tell me your thoughts. So uh, we are working on it, and I think we'll have some cool options for you guys. Awesome. So the next question is, um, will the shooting range be improved with the CC bot, bot spawner, map selector, no cooldowns, etc.? Asked by Narks221. Well, Narks, uh, the shooting range will be improved, I think. Neat. I think we... I can't remember if those changes. We're, we're trying to do a couple things right now. There's some technical limitations, um, specifically to your. Sorry, I have really bad eyes, um, and I'm trying to read these questions. But CC bot, CC bot, bot, spawner. bot spawner, map selector, no cooldowns. Thanks, fam. Um, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so a CC bot. Yeah, we also want to do things like maybe do a like a shield, like a persistent shield volume, so you could test record damage, that kind of thing. Getting items uh, from our item store. That's actually one of the hurdles we're trying to cover now is how to get that. It's just weird stuff. We'll work through it. Um, map selection, that's probably farther down, the, if, if I'm understanding that to be what it is, because you want to switch basically to different test maps or something. Um, right now, that is our only test map and probably will be for, for a bit. So we're going to try. We can make that experience better. But doing new ones um, won't be too realistic in the near future. Uh, no cooldowns, etc. Yeah, uh, we could potentially have like some kind of volume or VFX particle system that you walk into and just like you walk into it the first time, then you have no cooldowns, and then you walk into it again and it resets it, and you have cooldowns again. Push yeah, I could easily on. easily see some cool stuff like that going in. Absolutely. Nice. Next question by Insidiosity. Um, Oh goodness. The end of a match. The end of a match. <laughs> at the end of the match, can there be another section as well as rewards, MVP, and score, which shows player and build details such as mastery, legendary, loadout, and items? Yes, in Cityosity. Yes, there 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 will be. Um, we are in the process of kind of optimizing some of our UI elements as as our game is releasing on console and we're we're getting more in a kind of better state across the board in regards to our, our UI systems and tech. Um, this is definitely, it's, I mean, I can tell you it's already scheduled. Uh, um, and we all, I've, I've seen mock ups for something very similar to what's being asked for. Uh, so, yes. Yep. Awesome. Expect to see it soon. All right. Next question by Rhino Meister um, When can we expect full mastery rewards? Well, thank you for asking, Rhino Meister. Um, Putting you on the spot here. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. So, we will have. We will have some mastery news for you guys in the next couple of patches that will be, uh, it'll be pretty cool. I'm super excited to show you. I, I don't want to spill any beans. Uh, team will, will take me outside and beat me if I <laughs> do spoil anything. But there's some cool mastery stuff we are working on, and you guys will see it sooner than later. Um, and I'm excited for it, so I'll leave it at that. 
All right, next question by uh, Parazi. Are you planning to do an Odyssey type event in Paladins? Yes, mm. uh, we love as as a studio, uh, just doing kind of these big themed events. And, yeah. and for any of you, for those of you that don't know yeah. that the Odyssey yeah. is kind of uh, a big event that we do every year uh, in our other game, Smite, that features kind of a lead up to a big tournament where we get a bunch of stuff away, a bunch of cool events uh, that go alongside that. Yep, it's a kind of elongated over months or weeks. Yeah, that's the coolest part about it. Is it is a big, long, it feels impactful as an event because it mm -hmm. lasts a couple months. Yeah, it's it's super cool. We have them planning right now. Uh, we also will be looking or flirting with the idea of a also season ticket if you're similar, if you, if you know what that means in Smite as well. So yes, these big events are something we are definitely going to do. Um, it just... It takes all. They're they're huge events. The amount of content right. required uh, to to execute one successfully, the amount of UI work needed to actually put it in game and make sure it's clear and you communicate yeah. all the different variables and factors. It's a lot of work um, at a time where we're kind of hit, hitting our pace around champions and skin pipeline and stuff like that. So it is definitely prioritized, and uh, I. I I can't wait to see. Like, see, that's, that's when you get some of the dopest skins, too. Yeah. yeah. Is, There's a lot of possibility, events. too, yep. with our game. So. Yeah. Speaking of events, guys, uh, the Nova Strike Knessa quest oh, is nice. actually coming to an end uh, this patch. So Yes. You sure. uh, can no longer purchase it after this patch, so you have until Wednesday. Um, but if you already have the quest and you haven't completed it yet, you will still be able to progress in the quest. You just won't be able to buy it when 50 drops. So um, if you're wanting to get it, make sure you get it between today and um, when the patch drops Wednesday. Cool stuff there, guys. So laying the groundwork for some very cool stuff to come. Very excited for all these new skins. Uh, make sure you get in there. You know, get your sprays, announcer packs, Shaolin, Vigilante, Buck Wild, EV Glamstar, the Wreck Chest, and all the new balance changes. Uh, those will be going up on PTS probably this weekend, I would imagine. Guys, thank you all for being here so much for the OB50 patch preview. Uh, my name has been Pretty Hair. Thank you guys so much for joining me, Mr. Garrett Martini, Miss Alyssa, and Mr. Thomas Holt. Thank you guys again uh, for tuning in and watching, and we'll see you next time.